Hi guys, it's Mary Ann and time for Tuesday Tales. Today's theme is sheep. And as always, we need a joke to start out with. So here goes. What do you call a sheep that likes to dance? A ballerina. <laughs> a ballerina. I like sheep a lot. And so I picked these two books, the first of which is Farmer Brown Shears His Sheep by Terry Sloat, illustrated by Nadine Bernard Westcott, and this version is from Scholastic Inc. Farmer Brown was shearing sheep, piling up a snowy heap a wool that filled his shed knee-deep. They go in all furry and wooly. He gives them a shave. They come out with nothing on. Ooh, ooh, little naked sheep. He filled his bags up one by one with fleece. But when his work was done, clouds had covered up the sun. The sheep saw all their woolen sacks. Bah! They cried. We want it back. Oh, he's backing up the wool and they're getting chilly. Soon the farmer's sheep were shivering. They followed him. He was delivering all their wool to Mr. Green. He washed it out and combed it clean. Comb, pull, comb, pull, he cleaned and carded all their wool. Their fleece made such a fluffy stack. Bah, they cried, we want it back. The sheep were running, cold and shaking, behind the farmer. He was taking all their wool to Mr. Peel. They're still following him. This time he's on the bike. Who owned the finest spinning wheel? Twist hum, twist hum. What had their fluffy fleece become? Do you know what he's turning it into? From fleece to yarn, it stretched and changed. Bah, they cried, our wool looks strange. Chilly sheep with goosebumps crying, rode right behind the farmer flying, down the road to Mrs. Muller, who changed the yarn from white to color. Dip dye, drip dry, the yarn grew right before their eyes. <gasps> Look at, not only is it soft and clean now, but it's turned into yarn and it's brightly colored. Awesome! And while it dried upon the rack, one sheep cried, Bah! Let's take it back! What's this? The farmer asked his sheep. You're tangled up from head to feet. You're shivering cold and turning blue. So back to Farmer Brown's they flew. He found his favorite place to sit. Then Farmer Brown began to knit. Knit, pearl, knit, pearl, the farmer's fingers looped and twirled. What do you think he's doing? He's knitting something, what could it be? Crowded on the porch together, trembling in the nippy weather, they watched him knit and when he quit, he put a sweater on to fit each sheep, and then he buttoned it. Look how cute they look in their little cardigans, all nice and snugly. The sheep grew nice and warm again in brightly colored cardigans, in patterns made of red and green, and all the colors in between. Now each year, come shearing time, the sheep wait eagerly in line to feel the clip 
and hear the buzz, and wear bright sweaters over fuzz. Look how happy they are. They even have them for the sheep and the donkey and the horse. How cute. The second book is called Silly's Sheep. This one is written by Tiffany Stone and Lewis Thomas, and Silly is a good name for this character. This book is published by Schwartz and Wade, and it's a little bit silly, because the character's name is Silly. In a mountain meadow, in the open air, lived a man named Silly. All day he frolicked in the sunshine, while at night he did nothing but moonbeams for a bed. Then one morning, a gust of wind paid a visit. It was there only a moment, but still Silly felt chilly. Look, his nose is getting pink from being cold. The next morning, the wind visited again. What if it came to stay? <laughs> Silly searched in his sack for a solution. A unicycle, a ukulele, a cat. A cat might keep you warm. Binoculars, a teapot, a compass, a candlestick, a dice, a clock, a key, a TV set, and an apple. Nothing. Look at he's trying to keep warm with an umbrella. He's trying to stop the wind with a tennis racket. He's even using a book to try to keep warm from the wind. He sighed and scanned the sky. <gasps> Sheep! He exclaimed, pointing to the clouds. That's what I need. Sheep to make wool. Wool to make yarn. Yarn to make a sweater to keep me warm. Now he has a good idea, doesn't he? Maybe he's not so silly after all. Silly wasn't a shepherd, but he was sure he could find some sheep. Silly looked high and Silly looked low. Where were the sheep? Aha! Up on the hill, Silly spotted one sheep, two sheep, three, four, five. Five sheep to make wool, to make yarn, to make a sweater, to keep it warm. Silly hurried over and hiked up to the top. Follow me, sheep, he said. But the sheep didn't move. Not even when Silly tempted them with handfuls of hay. Look at, he's showing them how to eat the hay. Not even when he showed him how delicious it was. Boys and girls, do you see the problem here? Do you see what Silly thinks is a sheep? I bet you know what it is. Silly was stumped. Shifting sheep is rough, he said. Rough, rough, rough. <laughs> Silly giggled. He sounded like a dog. Oh, said Silly, that's what I need, a sheep dog to round up my sheep. Silly looked high, and Silly looked low. He even searched in his sack. But still, Silly didn't have a sheep dog, just like he didn't have wool or yarn or sweater to keep him warm if the wind came to stay. I know what to do, exclaimed Silly. Look at what's he doing? He's, <laughs> he's scratching behind his ear. He's leaping and jumping. He's pretending to be a sheep dog. Oh, what a silly silly is. So one by one, Silly picked them up and carried them down the hill. They were very heavy. What have you been eating? Silly asked. We know why they're heavy, don't we? Once his flock was comfortably settled, Silly took out his sharpest shears. Soon he would have everything he needed to make his sweater. 
except there was a problem. Their wool was as hard as stone. Look at it broke his scissors. It broke his saw. Not to worry, said Silly. I know what to do. He squirted on conditioner and squeezed on lotion. He even mashed up the bananas he was saving for later and smeared them on the sheath. But their wool was still as hard as stone. <laughs> He's so silly. And so the very next day, when the wind did come to stay, Silly had no wool, no yarn, and no warm sweater. Just five impossible sheep. The wind whirled around Silly, chilling his face, his arms, his feet. But my back isn't chilly, thought Silly. Why is that? When Silly turned around, he knew. Thank you, he said, giving the wind shielding sheep a hug. A smile spread across Silly's chilly lips. I know what to do. My side isn't chilly. Silly's smile grew even wider. Silly added another sheep and another. What's he doing? He's making himself a little cave. Silly wasn't chilly anymore. Oh good, it's starting to snow. I don't need a sweater, he declared. I don't need yarn. I don't even need wool. I just need sheep. And maybe a cow to make hot chocolate. The end. What a silly, silly was. They were just great big boulders, but he thought they were sheep. Glad he made a cave to keep warm. I want to show you what to do with what is in your packet this week. Before we do the craft, I have a little game we can play. Inside your packet are two pieces of cardstock. What I want you to do is draw a fence on the cardstock. and tape the pieces together. This will make the fence for your sheep. So you can fold it, you can make a round fence, or you can fold it like I did and try to make a square fence. And once you've made a fence, and before you do the craft, Pretend that the cotton balls in your bag are your sheep. And you need to get your sheep inside the fence, just like a sheep dog would. So how are we going to do that? There's a straw in your packet. And the straws are good for what? Drinking. And you can also blow air out of them. So if we have our sheep pen, and we have our sheep, we can pretend that the sheep are out in the field and that we need to get them into the pen. Let's see if I can do this. I got one in! Yay! So you do that and get all your sheep in the sheep pen. The reason I'm having you do that before the craft is because we're going to be gluing these cotton balls in the craft, so you won't be able to do it afterwards. So play that game as much as you want. And when you're done, let's look at the craft. There's the sheet of purple. That's the background. That's going to be the background. There is a sheep head, and it has two little nose holes in it. There is a sheep body. There are some things you're going to need to cut, like this, my sheep head. The poof on top of the head needs to be cut. 
And what do you think the cotton balls are for? What do cotton balls feel like? Soft and fluffy, aren't they? Soft and fluffy like a sheep. What else is in here? <gasps> we have green. Hmm. We'll put that aside for a minute. Okay. So, first thing we need to do is glue our sheet on the paper. We want to leave room for his head above and we want to leave room for his legs below. You should have four legs. Put those on. One. <laughs> glue is very sticky. I probably should have used a glue stick. I don't mind making a mess though. Two, three, four. Four legs on the sheep. What else does the sheep need? Well, let's put his head on. Mm -hmm. Okay, got his head on. And if you notice, when you put his head on, the white shows through his nose holes. Now he needs a little bit of fluff in his head. You so fluffy sheep. All right, so you've got four legs, the body, the head, the fluffy part on top. What else is in the bag? Two eyeballs. One. Two. I had enough glue on my fingers. I could just use that. All right. Now, why do we have this green paper? We can make grass out of this green paper. Grass for the sheep to eat. And you can make a grass any way you want. You might want to just cut little strips of grass. Or you could do kind of like I'm doing, which is making some zigzaggy motions with the scissors. Or like I said, you can cut individual pieces of grass to glue on. Either way. Either individual pieces of grass or um, keep going with this method. What do we need on the sheep? Cotton balls! We've got to make him a fluffy sheep! So glue stick or glue or paste, whatever you use, you can just poof! <laughs> they stick to you too. They might stick to the paper or they might stick to your fingers. I'm getting very gluey. Now, I'm doing this quickly because I want you to be able to go play the sheep game. But you feel free when you're doing it to take your time. <laughs> My silly sheep. I sure made a silly billy sheep. So, it was wonderful to be with you again today, and I have to wash my hands. <laughs> Next week, I will see you, and we will be doing stories about a little green vegetable that's round. I wonder if you can figure out what a little round green vegetable is before I see you then. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>